What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Turn Up With Tea. Turn Up With Tea. It's your girl, Talissa, coming at you in the car, <clears throat> trying to recover from an upper respiratory infection and uh, being on my deathbed, you know, because uh, that's what happens when you're sick. But today, I'm going to take you guys on a field trip. We are about to go into a lovely business called The Pout House. And I'm about to, this is my third appointment because the first time I had to cancel and the second time she had to cancel. So third time's a charm, right? So I'm about to go in here and get a massage and I am also going to get a microderm abrasion. I'm so excited. I've never had this done before and it's Tuesday, so it's Try It Tuesday. So instead of normally doing Try It Tuesday on my Facebook page, which is Turn Up With Tea, if you do not follow me on Facebook, make sure to go over and give me a like. And while you are here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. I would appreciate it so much. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on. Da -da. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to give you my feedback. I'm going to see if she'll let me record in here. Um, and not of the massage, you dirty, dirty people. Dirty um, of me getting my microderm abrasion. So I will keep you guys updated and stay tuned for hopefully you seeing the full shebang of my microderm abrasion. We're going to go in and uh, get that done. So I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, you guys, here we are. She has me ready to go. I am laying on a amazing, it was like so comfy, this facial chair, I guess, bed, I'm not sure. Um, I had a nice cozy head wrap and she had a towel protecting me. I mean, she even gave me a blankie. She was very professional and she stepped me through and walked me through everything that she did. Um, I was very happy with her services and how she handled everything and now she's just cleaning my face with a wet washcloth. Now what I recommend is taking off any makeup but with just warm water. And that's what's on this cloth. There's nothing on that because after that, I'm going to clean your face. Mm -hmm. So we want the cleanser to not have to do, you know, double duty. Work mm -hmm. through the layer of makeup. And we're going to scrub. You just don't want that mess. So I just make them two different, two different things. Now, when, like, I can't wear makeup today, but tomorrow is can, good. Yeah, you can wear it today, but you've got to be mindful of the um, brushes and sponges because oh, your yeah. face will be totally open. And anything that's on those brushes and sponges, if it has bacteria or whatever, uh -huh. is going to go directly into your pores. Yeah, I'm not going to wear makeup Like, today, you know, that'd be just asking for an infection. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to use, you know, like disposable things. So I absolutely loved how knowledgeable she was and how she talked me through everything. At this point, we were obviously talking about wearing makeup. I'm not going to wear makeup today, um, but she did let you guys know that you guys can wear makeup the day you get a microderm if you want to. Um, this is when she was scrubbing, like exfoliating my skin. It felt so good. Honestly, I thought I had my eyes closed. I was relaxing so much the peaceful soft music in the background it was just so th soothing like literally I probably could have taken a nap um but this little thing that she was scrubbing my face with I loved it and honestly I thought it was like a little sponge I didn't even know it had a handle and everything um yeah it wasn't too harsh anything like that she went in afterwards and she cleaned up everything with her warm these towels were so warm and she would even place them on my face which you will see in a minute where she places them and wraps my face in it and covers my eyes and it's just so relaxing and I went into this my skin is very very dry and she let me know my skin is dry um, but I also had some oily spots on my skin which is why I used two different primers um, but I definitely needed this I needed the junk out of my face I needed clean okay, this is the microderm. and uh, the bottom is these are diamond plated okay mm -hmm. and there's filters in there and they catch everything mm -hmm. so I'm going to use this just like you would um, 
vacuum the carpet at your house. I'm gonna go up and down all over your face and I'm gonna go side to side. I'm gonna switch to this one, kind of like the crevice tool on your vacuum and it gets mm -hmm. in real close around your eyes, nose, and lips. So okay. this is what does your nose and this does you know, the rest of your face. Okay. okay. I'm gonna start on your forehead. Here we go, you guys, the main attraction. This is the microdermabrasion right here. And it's like a little vacuum, just like she said. And to be honest, I was bracing myself because I thought this was gonna be painful. I thought I was gonna like hurt. <laughs> I don't know why, but it didn't hurt whatsoever. Um, with this piece she has now, she went over my face twice and it's just sucking the junk and the dead skin and the, all of that mumbo jumbo that you need off out and she also explained um and another part of how this brings collagen to your skin so you continue to see results from this days um, weeks later so you want to minimal do this once a month um is the shortest time period you can wait because that collagen is bringing coming to the surface of your skin um so it continues working but i really wanted it to clean my skin So because I wanted this to clean my skin, I wanted to get all that junk out of my nose, out of underneath, like below where my, my lip is. Those are my problem areas. And she actually showed me on the little filters what it brought out of my skin. And I'm going to show you guys a picture. But holy cow, like my skin is so soft after this, you guys. Like it feels like a baby's butt. Um, and I definitely think I want to continue to do these once a month maybe once every two months I really take care of my skin I try to cleanse my skin um, twice a day I exfoliate I use Brewery strips but it's just not enough so I love that this little tool right here she's using on my nose can literally pull that crap and junk out of out of my nose and out of those pores where I desperately, <laughs> desperately need them. And um, it was so relaxing and I definitely highly recommend this. If you are wanting to treat yourself, get yourself a facial, help your skin, get that dry dead junk out of them pores, evacuate please. Definitely go book you a microderm because I'm very happy. Um, and I'm excited to see how my skin does over the next few days and even weeks um, with the collagen coming to the surface on my skin. So I am overall very pleased and very happy not only with her services, um, but also with the whole treatment altogether. And it lasted probably, I'm going to say 45 minutes is what I was here for. Um, and it's just something I needed for myself and definitely relaxing. So this is the towel wrap I was telling you about. She did this multiple times. This towel was so warm. Like it's not like hot, like, oh my God, it's burning me, I'm on fire. But it was so warm. Right, I'm gonna use my little tool and see what's left. Or what the machine didn't pick up. So this little tool, now this did hurt. Now it was like a catch-all for the, what the machine didn't get. And I'm sure you guys have seen them in the store. You may have one, but presses down and get the rest of the junk out of your skin. But I'm glad she was thorough. This is gonna sting a little, but it should, be, it should go away. This is just a mask. I'm gonna put it on and then we'll let it set for a little bit. Now she let this mask sit on my face and she did warn me that it would sting, but it really did not sting. It got a little bit warm, but of course it's going to be warm um, because my pores had just been completely open, sucked dry um, and all of that. So this was a setting mask to set everything on my face and moisturize and all of that good stuff. Um, but it, it was spearmint. It, it didn't really sting, but I would say as the longer it was on, it got a little warm on me, but nothing like unbearable or bad. Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. 
so she let me lay here for a very long time and just chill like I'm telling you I could have taken a nap I cut all that out because I know you guys just don't want to see me lay there but overall services 10 out of 10 um the results with the microderm 10 out of 10 I am very happy and pleased with this I definitely will go back and get this again if you are needing a facial and wanting your pores cleaned out if you are wanting um, to get that dry yucky skin off you definitely check into one wherever is local to you um, because it's definitely worth it and I very very much enjoyed it um, and then now she's just taking the mask off and uh, bada bing bada boom baby baby girl's got a clean face eh one more thing before we end this video is she repeatedly toned my face and she kept talking about that. Use toner, use toner, use toner um, to close out those pores and she uses witch hazel. And so she highly recommend taking some cotton rounds, soaking them in witch hazel in a container and just pulling them out as you need to and really using that on your face often. Um, it smelled good, it didn't sm everything she used smelled amazing, and now she just added a little extra oil on my problem areas, which was there under my, under my lip and on my nose. So, if you don't have witch hazel, girl, go buy you some and make sure you're using that after in your skincare regimen to tone your face, because that's one thing that she talked about repeatedly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps you in um, determining if you want to get a microderm. Thank you again. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I will catch you guys on the next video. And here's my after picture. So fresh and so clean, clean.